question for LeBrant. Hey, LeBrant, um, I came in your room a few months ago and uh, I asked you about uh, there's two names in the Greek, well, two words in the Greek um, <clears throat> that is used for uh, worship, Latreia and Proskuneo. Did you uh, do a study on that yet? No. Okay. Then. Yeah, well, I need you to, uh, you might, you might want to do that because, um, I think it's very important to understand, uh, what proskuneo means and what, uh, Latreya actually means because, uh, you'll continue to be, um, uh, unlearned, uh, when it comes to that. So I think that would be, uh, beneficial for you to have a better understanding of the scriptures. Even though I have received the Holy Spirit from God and confirmed of my spiritual rebirth, there is still something that I have to do to satisfy men. In addition to what God has confirmed and done, I would be very foolish to think that a man has anything that he can give me other than the promised gift that God has already given me, which is eternal life. You see, when I die, I'm going to be resurrected. When you die, you and your memory of Greek language is going to die all together. The Greek language is not going to resurrect you. You can learn Greek backwards and forward. But what have you accomplished? Have you received eternal life? Nope. LeGrant, how do you receive eternal life, LeGrant? You have to do what Jesus finally showed us how to receive eternal life. No man shall enter the kingdom of God unless he's born again in the spirit. And you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven unless you have the promised gift of eternal life. Because once this body dies, life as we know it ends the only thing that continues to exist okay that sounds really good LeGrand hey, can somebody read like me Matthew, Ike, Matthew chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 that's how you get it you want to know how you get the, the, the uh, eternal life you got to be baptized by the Holy Ghost as commanded by Jesus Jesus commanded his disciples and us that we must be baptized by the Holy Ghost in order to receive the promised gift of eternal life that God would send to us. Very simple. That's it. Okay. Okay, Isaiah, you said Matthew, what up? You know what I want, man. 1917, bro. God, it's the book of Matthew. Chapter 19, verse 17. Oh, start at 16. And he said unto them, verse 16, and behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? He said, he said, do what, bro? He said, keep the commandments. LeGrand, you can keep those. Yep, I sure do. No, you don't, LeGrand. Stop lying. I keep the commandments that Jesus told us to keep that pertain to receiving the promise of the eternal life. You know what those is? not the law of the commandments of Moses that you're trying to suggest. I don't know why y'all stop reading right there. You got to read all the way down to verse 22 in order to get the truth of the discussion between Jesus and this man. If you stop right there, that would be deceptive. You're misrepresenting the scriptures. Is that a false statement? You gotta read statement? all the way to verse 22. Is that a false You gotta be reading all the way to... Yes, that's a false statement that you all are trying to imply. You gotta read all the way to verse 22 in, in order to get the full conversation. It's like looking at a video recording and stopping at halfway. The full conversation. The point is that Christ well, said you have to keep the commandments. Did, did Christ commandment. start naming? Well, hold on, hold on. Did Christ start naming off commandments? 
did Christ start name off? We can read what he did. Uh, okay, did he start naming off commandments? What What do you think? It's not what I think. Verse 19. Go ahead, read that. Read that part. Verse 19. <clears throat> Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. I think the elder got a uh, got a phone call, but uh, Legrand. No, I got, I got, a, I got no phone call. I got no phone call. I'm talking about my oh, yeah. I apologize. I had a phone call. I, I okay. had a phone call. I apologize. So, so he says, "What lack I yet?" He said he kept all those from the thieves. Up. What lack? What lack I yet? Right. So, did he love his neighbor as he loved himself? Was he was he willing to? follow the commandment in Deuteronomy 15 about not withholding his hand to the poor? Was he able to follow that commandment? That ain't gonna get you everlasting life. No, I'm, I'm asking you a question. What's the Was question? Was he able to follow that commandment? Did he love his neighbor as he loved himself? Did he, he follow he the did. commandment? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, we both can read. You gotta ask me a question that we both, the, I, the, the I, scripture listen, says, Grant, look, Grant, he look, Grant, does. Grant. Wait a minute, you look, Shamar, Grant. Shamar, 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 Shamar. Did he? It's Stop not asking Shamar. me questions it's that we Shamar. clearly see. My name we is clearly not Shamar. See whatever your name is, it the scripture is says what it says. You don't have to. You don't ask me a question Le about Grant, or what the scripture says. It says what it says. Wait one says. second, Le Wait one second. His actions speak louder than his words. So by his action, did he? Give to his brother, to to the poor, like you are, like you ought to do, to show that you love your neighbor like you love yourself. Did he do that? What did it, what did the scripture say? What did the scripture I'm say? Asking, he did. I'm, I'm asking no, you. No. What, what 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 uh what what verse is that? It's verse nineteen, brother. Verse nineteen. Okay. Verse nineteen. Verse nineteen says. Verse 19 and verse 20 answers the question. So, I mean, okay. why, why would he, you ask okay, me okay, on, okay, what it says okay, and we both reading what it says? Why, why would he, you ask okay, me okay, hold on, okay, what it says okay, hold on. and we both reading what it says? Why, why would he, you ask okay, me okay, hold on, okay, what it says okay, hold on. and we both reading what it says? Why would you okay, ask me grand, did it say grand, okay, hold, I'm, I'm, I'm Show some self-control, self -control, brother. Show some self-control. That's not self-control. It's, 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 it's having a dialogue. I understand, but you keep just asking questions when I'm trying to make sure that we're... No, right. I'm not asking any questions. You're the one asking the questions. I'm asking you why you're right. asking me the question. Well, I know. you just That's a question. So you did ask a that's question. That's a silly question. Stop we both read it. Uh, you've Wait been ridiculous. Wait Listen, let me read second. the scripture. Am I being ridiculous? Wait one second. Can I read 19 and 20? I'm about, about to read it right now. Verse 19 it says, honor... Go ahead. Verse 19. <clears throat> Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto the young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read on. So you asked me earlier, what did what We're did the the young man do? Hold on, I'm reading. We're reading the Bible. You asked me earlier, what Le what did the young man do? Look, Grant, we're reading the Bible. You too old to act like this. Y'all too old to ask stupid questions. Let's see what he did right now. Verse 21. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. Verse 21. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come 
and follow me. So let's see if he gave to the poor, which 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 is love. Matter of fact, hold that right there. Pause that. Go to Deuteronomy 15 and verse 10. God. You ain't got to go there. That tells you what he, yeah, he didn't give to the poor. And verse I'm 10. showing you what the In the next two is. verses, he Just didn't give to the poor. Ground. You ain't got to go. Look this around. is the book of Deuteronomy Stop. chapter 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy y'all, chapter 15. Y'all misrepresenting the scripture. Thou shalt, thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved, grieved when thou givest unto him. Because that... <clears throat> For this thing the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thine hand unto. Read this verse 11. Verse 11. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thy hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in thy land okay okay so let's go back to matthew 19 and let's read verse 22 let's see what he did let's see if he loved his neighbor like he loved himself book of matthew chapter 19 verse 22 <clears throat> but when the young man heard the same thing he went away softly for he had great possessions Right, so he did not love his neighbor like he loved himself. So, so look around. Okay, so now can I say something? You say yes, you're misrepresenting. If I can say something, I'll show you. No, because I'll show you. Christ gave no because Christ gave commandments. You're supposed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is a plethora okay. of different scriptures that follow that fall okay. under loving your neighbor as you love yourself. What when Christ said in order to get the kingdom. You must keep the commandments. That is not a false statement. We're not misrepresenting that. Christ laid laid down certain commandments, and we see clearly, even though this man said, I did, I have done this from my youth up, his actions proved otherwise. So let me just show the people how deceptive you are in, in misrepresenting the scripture. You went to Deuteronomy to read a scripture that says God commanded to give to the poor. That commandment in the Old Testament was not a commandment that pertains to receiving the promised gift of eternal life. That which is written in Deuteronomy has nothing to do with You try to, you try you to are equate. So no, you, you be are quiet so while dumb. I'm talking. Stop talking. No. No, no, you be I'm quiet. Not. You're trying to You're equate. So dumb. You're trying to equate a scripture in Deuteronomy about giving, but uh, as if <laughs> if he gave it the Old Testament, <laughs> hey, he's going not. to. Yeah, y'all might as well have throw me out the room because y'all not gonna let me talk. I might as well not be here. No, because because the young man asked him, "How do I get eternal life?" And then and he, he said, "Get it, the commandments." But see, you are, you're 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 wait, you're wait, insinuating. Wait, wait, wait a minute, we're you, not insinuating. You're, you're insinuating that the man got eternal. We're not insinuating. He you're did insinuating you. that the commands are. Can I ask you a question real fast? <laughs> let me ask, let me ask you. Let me ask you. You're, you're the biggest fool hey, I've elder, ever seen. Old fool. Elder, elder, elder Shamir. Can I ask you a question? Sure, real fast? sure. Yes, you may. So we read. So we read. Uh, <clears throat> so we read Matthew. Uh, 19, 17, on down to like 21, 22. And what you did was uh, we read the scriptures and it said that uh, Christ told him to actually keep a commandment that was already written in Deuteronomy. Yes. Whatever's yes, written in Deuteronomy so, has nothing to do with this eternal no, life in the no, Christ. So Christ is telling him <clears throat> to keep a commandment that was already written. And that's why you had me go to De- Deuteronomy to actually read the actual commandment that was already written down. That's that's why we went to Deuteronomy. Exactly, because Christ, what Christ told him to do is exactly what we read in Deuteronomy. Galatians 3. O oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? Right. Now, was part of the 
uh, answering his question of how to receive eternal life. Answering his question of how to receive eternal life. How to receive eternal life. How to receive eternal life. This only would I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? By the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? By the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. Without the law is manifested. Without the law is manifested. Even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Where is boasting then? Where is boasting then? Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? By what law? Of works? By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Nay, but by the law of faith. Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. O oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? This only would I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? By the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? By the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? <laughs> right. <laughs> Legrand is retarded, man. That is crazy. Let me show you something, how foolish you are in your misrepresentation. Galatians chapter 3 verse 21 tells you unequivocally that there is no law in Deuteronomy or anywhere else that can give you eternal life. It says, now listen to this. This totally destroys that false doctrine that you're trying to push forward. For if there had been a law written in Deuteronomy that you're trying to assert, if there had been a law given which could have given life, that means eternal life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. But we see that this young man, even if he had done what Jesus told him to do, give to the poor, giving to the poor would not be a law that could have given eternal life. Giving to the poor would not be a law that could have given eternal life. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. No. So Christ was lying Galatians, to him. Chap Galatians chapter no, 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 3 verse 21. Was Christ no. lying what does that say? For if there had been a law given which could have given life, Verily righteousness should have been by the law. 
For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. No, he was not lying to him. Be Biden, no, 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 Legrand. No, 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 Why did Christ tell him in order to, why did Christ tell him in order to receive eternal life, he must keep the commandments? Why did he tell him that? And why did he start listing these commandments and give him a specific commandment that we just read? Why did he do that? One of the requirements of receiving eternal life is that you repent. This is what Peter told his people in the upper room. Repent and receive eternal life. Jesus you're not, you're not answering to this. my question. I am you're answering this. When Jesus was talking to this young man, he was still under the old covenant. So he had to tell him nothing different. You had to obey the laws and commandments of Moses. He asked, he how do earth. I receive eternal life? Correct? Yes, but he told now, Yeah, he told Did Christ him. answer him? Did Christ answer him? Did Christ answer him how he should receive eternal life? Did Christ answer him? Yeah. Yes, he did. He said, he said, follow me. He said, follow me. If he would have followed him, he, he would have found, wait a minute. Poor. Did he no, say no, give no. to the poor? He said, follow me. That's what y'all okay, want to read. Did, okay, okay. You okay, want to read so that. So what does that mean? No, no, follow no, no, no. me. Wait a second. Well, let, me, let, let me explain. LeGrand, LeGrand, wait a second. No, we're not, you, you, LeGrand, we're, we are not denying that he said follow him. Of course, we're supposed to follow Christ. You would have, Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Oh, but he Lord. did say to give to the poor yeah but that he said you a lot of other things too that but that doesn't give eternal life he told his disciples so, to, be, to believe on him his oh disciples didn't even God. have the, let me listen for a second oh, his, this guy hey, i tell you y'all don't want to listen amazingly y'all just want to just talk go talk ahead, talk y'all don't want to hear anybody else's opinion all right all right go ahead go ahead this is the sad part is that the i'm gonna tell um on the behalf of um, on the behalf of Israel, hey, um, all y'all who are, I, I ain't even gonna go there. Yeah, don't worry. Just let me. Just let me. Just let me. Just let me say this here. Let me say this here. I'll be gone. y'all here. No, you good. Jesus' disciples had not even received the promised gift of eternal life. They had been following the laws, commandments of Moses. It was not until Jesus had been killed and resurrected that his disciples learned what they must do in order to receive eternal life. They had been told by Jesus for three years that if they believed on him, they'll receive it. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. They had not been told how they would receive it. What must they do to receive this promise gift? They didn't learn that until Acts chapter they didn't learn that until Acts chapter one, verses four and five, when Jesus had a meeting with them before he went to heaven, he said do not leave Jerusalem until you receive the promise that I've been telling you God was sent to you. God is going to send you the promise gift of eternal life when you're baptized by the Holy Ghost. Now that's the first time that Jesus revealed to his disciples, those that followed him, and if that young man would have followed Jesus, he would have found out what he had to do in order to receive eternal life. If he would have followed Jesus, he would have found out what he must do in order to receive eternal life. His disciples right, didn't find out what they must do until LeGrand. he had that meeting with them and I McGrant, I gotta stop you. You you you're you're seventy years old and don't know what the hell you're well, talking you about. Well you definitely don't know you don't know the, you got your own spiritual protocol listen. for spiritual rebirth. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, okay. Listen. You're gonna listen, you're gonna you're gonna clear. you're gonna deny what the hey, scripture LeGrand, says. LeGrant. LeGrant, you unmike again, we're just gonna play you down, bro. Well, just, I just, just chill out. Down. I'm gonna give it back to you. Okay, good for you. This brother is 
90 years old and he doesn't understand a damn lick of what he read, right? He's, he was a lawyer. Tell me what I'm wrong. Obviously, Stop making all these uh, juvenile arguments and tell me uh, objectively what I'm how I'm wrong. Okay. I'm okay, reading from scripture. I'm, I'm reading book let's chapter go, verse. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to Matthew 19. Let's go back to Matthew 19. Matthew, Matthew 19, 19 ain't got nothing to do with eternal life. As we have seen. Okay. So, um, let's go back here. Matthew 19 and 18 he said unto him which Jesus said thou shalt not wait hold on let me see let me see the right one just the right one deal with Galatians 3 21 first no that sound like a snake deal with Galatians 3 21 it tells you the law has nothing to do with eternal life for if there had been a law given which could have given life verily righteousness should have been by the law now, so Christ was lying Galatians, to him. Chap Galatians chapter no, 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 3 verse second. 21 was Christ no. lying what does that say for if there had been a law given which could have given life verily righteousness should have been by the law for if there had been a law given which could have given life verily righteousness should have been by the law you can't deal with that the young man said verse 20 the young man said unto him all these things have I kept from my youth up. What like I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go, sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. So you're trying to basically negate the fact that Christ told him to, <clears throat> to um, uh, not told him to keep the commandment by you know giving to the poor and give giving to the homeless you're basically just trying to say that's not what christ wasn't telling him to keep a commandment he was just telling him to follow me he was telling him to give to the poor and to follow him he was telling him to keep the commandments christ said out his mouth to keep the commandments and you're saying that christ didn't it. it's really getting uh becoming a headache at this i point. didn't say that uh, i didn't say that if you listen to what i say if you listen to what I said, you would have heard what I said. I said, when Christ walked the earth, when Christ had this conversation with that young man, they were under Did the Christ old covenant. The they were under the old covenant. Did Christ tell him to keep the commandments? When I'm talking, be quiet. Christ no, told you this young the man the same the thing that... When I ask a question, you answer. No, I'm, asking, I'm answering the question. Be quiet while I'm so, answering. So, no, so, so shut up and listen to what I'm talking about. Christ is doing the same thing John did the Baptist did. Him, he told him to, did Christ tell him to keep the commandments? Did Christ tell him to keep the commandments, yes or no? LaGrant, did Christ tell him to keep the commandments, yes or no? So do which is so, equivalent so, to so what's the baptism hold on, hold on, of repentance. Hold on, hold on. Christ told him to keep the commandments. So do which is so, equivalent so, to so what's the baptism hold on, hold on, of repentance. Keep the commandments. So do which is equivalent to so what's the baptism of repentance. Which is equivalent to which is equivalent to the baptism of repentance. The baptism of repentance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Follow the laws and commandments of Moses. Christ, Legrand, I'm gonna say something you like. I'm gonna say something you like. Legrand, Christ told him to follow Legrand. the laws and commandments of Moses, just like John the Baptist did, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what Jesus told that young man. They were still so under the old covenant. About? So what are we talking about right now? I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't, I don't know what Christ you're hearing. Him, wait, Christ told him to keep the commandments. Yes. Yeah. Did Christ Why, refer to a me commandment that was already time did Christ he, already did Christ, did, Christ him, me that. did Christ tell him to keep a commandment that was in Deuteronomy? Yes or no? Oh Jesus, have mercy. You done asked me the same question twenty times. Hey, LeGrand, because you don't have any rationale. No you don't have any rationale. LeGrant, you're ninety years old, you don't even understand. 
Y'all, y'all like Nicodemus. Y'all have no understanding of the new covenant and the spiritual nature of the new covenant. He believed that uh, at that time while Christ was living, they were still under the law. Were they were not? Were they not under the law when Christ was living? You see the right maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see why. But it, but when he but he doesn't. He's not. Um, he's not. Um, and somehow he's not, what? He's not right. He's not, not right. But I'm just like saying, he's still he's losing. losing. I am right. <laughs> I am right. Y'all tell me where I'm wrong at. Hey, okay, okay, I will. Tell me, tell me, tell me this. Galatians. I'm about to tell you where you're wrong. Galatians chapter three twenty one. Tell you where you're wrong. Tell me what Galatians chapter three. I want to tell me nothing else but Galatians three twenty one. I'll go to. I'll. No, I ain't going there later. I'm going there now. I don't give a damn what you want. No. I don't give a damn. damn. What, what, what do you think? Go to Galatians 21. Come on, man. Oh, be quiet. LeGrand, man, wait a second. Bro. LeGrand, man. How, how the hell are you going to come on somebody else's stage and just talk to people this way, bro? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know how you think you're going to get respected talking to people this way. You're not sunning nobody up here, man. You dumb as hell, bro. Come on, man. Don't come up here doing that. Where you go? You leave? All right, that's fine. Oh, okay. nah, he in the audience. Nah, he ain't back there. Yeah, where you gonna stay? You wanna stay? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you oh, something. I don't oh, care about the. No, 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 Right. I know me don't. I know me just teach. I don't. I don't debate with my students. No, you're not teaching anything. You're not equivalent to my you, level. You, okay, okay. Don't ask me to. Don't debate ask me. Don't, don't, don't I don't only, me I only debate my equal. Don't ask me. Don't, don't ask me a question. If you don't this. Y'all need to learn. Hey, look, Grant. I'm gonna be honest. You don't have any. You're not smarter than nobody on this stage when it comes to this Bible. No, I just have the truth. You have an elementary. You haven't been born again in the spirit. You're not you on my a, level. You have an elementary understanding of the scriptures. And yeah, y'all think y'all got it. You, the, the scripture says you 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 look at the you search the scriptures you say, and you think you got eternal life, but I am the okay. eternal okay. life. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, look. Well, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Now. Here we go. What's so, my question? Your question was prove how you're wrong. So I'm about to do that. Oh, and then, well, and then I'm going to go to Galatians 3. Just be quiet. All you got to do is just be quiet. There you go. You got to, you can't go, you can't, you got to no, first deal with Galatians 3 first. before you go no. and try and prove the law. No. no. Yes, no, you do. Don't have to because that. Galatians 3 says that no, I do not. you, there is no law that can get you eternal. Use your mind. Galatians 3 says there is no law that... For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. No. So Christ was lying Galatians, to you? Chap Galatians chapter no, 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 3 verse second. 21. Was Christ no. lying What does that say? For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Yes, I know that. Thank you. So stop trying to. Uh, I'm going to ask you, though. Be quiet. It's at the end of the question. Let me show you where you're wrong. Young men keep asking, how do I receive eternal life? I'm not going to ask you, but is that correct, everybody else on the panel? Todd. So if God. he's asking him, if he's asking Christ, how do I receive eternal life? Christ's answer was to keep the commandments. Then he names commandments from the Old Testament. This was not a trick. This was not, oh, this is how you get eternal life when you're under the law, but it's going to change later. He's, he's, about to, this, he's about to die in the next couple of chapters. So he's not telling him something to do for like three months, and now it's about to change. That's not what he's doing right here. That is an idiotic statement or a position for you to take. He clearly tells him to receive eternal life, keep the commandments. That's what he tells him. That's what it is. 
Now, we are not saying that that is the end all be all. We know that there's more scripture that goes into what all you must do. But Christ kept it very general for this young man because Christ already knew that this young man did not do the basics. It's plain. The basics was for him to keep the commandments. And then he names a specific commandment in Deuteronomy 15, verse 11 and verse 10. He tells him to do these things. Young man walked away sorry. Period. That's the end of that. That's how I'm proving you are wrong. He did not get to the poor and he did not follow Christ. Period. One of the ways he would follow Christ was to would, would be to follow his instructions. That's one of the ways you follow Christ. Not just walking in his uh, literal footsteps. Right? When he makes you a break, he puts you right there in the same place. That's not what he means. Follow Christ, follow me. It goes into following what he says. And that young man did not do that. So that's how you are wrong. Period. Now we can go to Galatians 3. All right, before we go there, let me just tell you that since you're going to use that as a standard, then you must sell everything you got and give it to the poor. He didn't tell him to sell to everything he has. Or God. He didn't tell him yeah, to sell everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did not you, tell him you, to sell. We're talking about, we're talking about you. He did you not, he did, he did not you tell him. Everything you, he did not tell him to sell everything he has. And give it to the poor. He told him to Listen, he did not tell him to sell everything that he has. Listen, he did not tell him to sell everything that he has. Listen, he did not tell him to sell everything that he has. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. Verse 21, Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. Go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. Jesus said unto him, If thou will be perfect, the law Can you is call the verse? Perfect. Matthew 19, verse 21. Jesus said unto him, If thou will be perfect. So what we see is that him obeying all the law's commandments of Moses from the time he was a little boy did not make him perfect. If he wanted to be perfect, he had to do something else. The law that he had followed since he was a little boy did not make him eligible or perfect to receive eternal life. LeGrant doesn't get it. He doesn't get that that young man was just talking bull jive in the words of, uh, what's that dude's name, Shannon Sharp. He was talking bull jive. He did not actually do it. He was just saying that he did. He did it. Uh, he didn't do it in sincerity. He probably did it grievously or whatever else. Oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? Right. And that was part of the uh, answering his question of how to receive eternal life. Answering his question of how to receive eternal life. How to receive eternal life. How to receive eternal life. 
This only would I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? By the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? By the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. Without the law is manifested. Without the law is manifested. Even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Where is boasting then? Where is boasting then? Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? By what law? Of works? By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Nay, but by the law of faith. Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law.